don't really not have a... Yeah, I don't have a higher version of the Stingray. I guess I'll just bring this one along. Alright. Oh, this works. Now, is this the one where I kill the, uh, the ant queens? I have no idea. So, oh, I see. These guys were at... Did they just shoot me in the back? Well, I guess it doesn't do damage, so I guess it's not so bad. Yeah, I love the Stingray. I want to get a high-level Stingray if I can. Unfortunately, doing Crimson on my own on, like, Inferno difficulty is probably impossible. God damn it. I'm just going to be blowing myself up here. Why not? Okay, the Queen is charge phase three. Oh, hey, Pyro's hanging out. Cool. So we might actually uh, run some Inferno-ish. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. We haven't actually really been playing a whole lot of EDF lately because of uh, Fortnite. Which is, I mean, really good fun. But also, I don't know. I, I always have the hardest time deciding which multiplayer games I like the best. I think Fortnite just ultimately involves a lot of, like, grinding that I almost, like, kind of prefer to do solo. Okay, let's just go with the Burst Rifle. I'm surprised you can't, uh, fire this thing, like, fully automatic. I don't know, I've never liked, uh, Burst, burst Shot in games. It never, never feels particularly good. It's like, why shoot three bullets when you can shoot one much more higher-powered bullet? I know that's not actually how it works, but, like, are there actually a whole lot of guns in real life that use specifically burst fire? Yeah, okay, this is the Queen Nest one. Which, it's probably a good reason why I didn't, uh, I, I'm glad I didn't, uh, run these on hard. I was considering it, I was like, maybe I can do this on hard, but I remember this mission specifically, uh, murdered us real handily. Otherwise. It's interesting listening to the little dialogue in the background. There's actually, a, like, a lot of little plot bits. You know, talking about, like, eight years ago, somebody, like, went off and killed the queen and stuff. Now, is that in reference to, um... Is that a reference to EDF 2025, or is that, um... Ranger 23, come back to the surface. Because, like, there's very clearly, like, some kind of chronology here. I just, I don't know what it is. Whoops. Huh. So the, the M16 apparently can be fired in burst mode. I mean, it makes more sense if you can actually switch between them, but it feels like a lot of these, uh... It feels like a lot of these games just give you no choice. Which I guess makes sense from a balancing perspective, because if you could switch between them freely, it would probably become a little bit overpowered. Or underpowered, I don't know. Okay. I got a whole slew of dudes. I like these tunnel segments, but I also don't like them, because it, it uh, kind of limits you in like terms of what weapons you can use and what you can't. But I guess at the same time, it does give you the... Uh, there's some, like, really nice weapons that you don't, uh, that, like, really don't shine up until you, uh, yeah. Like, they really don't shine up until you get the, uh, the chance to be in a tunnel. Like, anything with, uh, any with, anything with, like, refl uh, reflective with ricochet shot, uh, is most definitely, like, incredibly useful here. I'm gonna switch back to this. Unfortunately, like, my rocket launchers, the corpses don't disappear fast enough, so they just end up eating my shots and killing me. Are the queens special or just big ants? Big ants, uh, they do a lot more damage and they got wings. I don't really know if they do much for flying, though. What are they saying to each other? I just heard, like, it's your turn, bro. And then somebody else, like, exuberantly says in the background, it's my turn. And I'm like, what? 
deepest hole. Find a way there. Oh, hey. There's some random wing divers in a cave. That doesn't make any sense. It would be really cool, actually, if there was, like, a straight-up commander class for this game that uh, that specifically uh, just summons units to fight for them, almost. Like, it would be super cool, uh, in my opinion, if, like, there was actually a class. It's kind of like the ranger, but you only get one gun, and then you get other, three other subguns to summon reinforcements, and your entire point is just getting, like, a platoon of dudes to follow you around. That would actually be, like, really cool. Also, that freaking lightning move is great. I should, uh, actually, Pyro, uh, if you're hanging out, I don't know how long it is, it's gonna be until Bird and Keith are ready. Uh, but if you want to pop on for a bit and help me farm some Wing Diver stuff, I'd actually be 100% down with that. I'm gonna switch to the Rocket Launcher, despite friendly fire. Because, yeah, I wanna, I, I'd like to do the Fencer, but it seems like the Wing Diver has some, uh, better tactical advantages. Yep, I'm just murdering all of my teammates here. If you hear them screaming, that's because I shot them. That was confusing. Third camera, st uh, third person camera stuff is weird. Let's finish this mission though, because yeah, I wouldn't mind trying out the wing diver. Somebody, somebody in the comments was like begging me to play the other classes, and it's like. If this game made it so that weapon drops were actually class agnostic, I think I'd actually be really happy about that. Because then it would give me a reason to play as other people. Um, unfortunately, it, it feels like this is one of those games where they really want you to play through this like half a billion times. And it sucks. Wait, no, I don't want to go up here. We want to go around the corner. The, the Ant Queen's right here, and these idiots are trying to shoot them through the walls. Or maybe not the Ant Queen's. I guess it's just spiders. Thank you for explosives. Though, they are the best. I want to get some of the, like, really high-end Inferno rocket launchers. I can only imagine they're amazing. Like, I... Some max level nonsense would be the best. I don't even know if I'm hitting anything at this point. No, I killed him. Okay. News to me. There we go. Yeah, I've noticed... I'm gonna go... where? I, I really do wish the, the caves were a little bit more distinct in terms of like, by the way, go here and do this. I'm finding myself just wandering around being like, so is this the right way to go? I think I've got it. I wish the Air Raider had a bullet gun, not just explosives. Yeah, I, I feel like the Air Raider should have access to a small handful of ranger weaponry. Like, I, I think if the Air Raider had just the basic shotgun and assault rifle, and maybe, like, even just only limited to the boring variants, you know, none of the crazy, like, ricochet ones... I think I'd be super satisfied with the Air Raider and play, would play them more often. But because of those, like, weird Splendor... Uh, Splendor guns. No, not Splendor guns. The, uh... Shoot, what are they called? I don't know. The Air... The only Air Raider, like, personal gun. They're two unreliable weapons, so I don't want to deal with it. That was my least favorite class in EDF. I mean, honestly, probably Air Raider. I, I feel like it's a class that desperately needs, um... Need some adjustments. I love the mechs, but uh, the mechs and the vehicles and whatnot. But it, it, it just, it doesn't feel good playing them. Given like a game or two, I bet they'll be amazing. Like I'll definitely try the air raider out. Uh, oh, he's directly below me. Uh. I will definitely try Air Raider first and foremost in EDF 5, but my bet is it's not it's still going to feel kinda of awkward. I'll still give it a go because like I want it to work. But yeah, like the giant robot I think part of the problem is like half the vehicles almost feel like jokes. 
Like, I really like the idea of the Blam, but the Blam is just so inefficient that it's just like... I don't know. But yeah, if there were... if, like, the tanks came with more... I mean, honestly, I feel like the whole vehicle am ammunition system is kind of annoying. You're already a big, super killable target. The fact that you can run out of ammo gets even worse. The Blam is... I mean, yeah, I guess he's only for used for killing the, uh... He's only used for, for fighting the Godzilla creature, but at the same time, it's just like... I don't know. I just wish the Blam walked a bit faster, maybe? Or had some, like, auto guns that would just automatically, like, shoot things nearby. Okay, time to just kill wing divers because I'm an asshole. Never mind. The hole is exploding. Okay, well, I'm gonna give up on high explosives because I'm gonna blow myself up. Yeah, see all that orange goop flying out of the hole? That's what the queens can do. They are a serious problem. I can't quite fight them. I guess we're just gonna have to hang out here and pelt the entrance. This is a bit more reasonable. It'd actually be really cool if the, uh... If the Air Raider automatically generated points. Like, if everything, instead of being, like, uh, just purely point-based, it was actually, like, just a long cooldown. Uh, because one of my biggest problems I have with the, uh... With the Air Raider and their weapons... Is, uh... If you're playing, like, Air Raider solo and you run out of points, you just can't summon that thing again until you get a sufficient number of kills, which sometimes doesn't work so great. But if it's like, say if it takes a minute, but every kill reduces it by a second or something like that. That'd be like super reasonable in my, in my mind. Listening to these guys like, sound effect is hilarious. Yeah, that would be the Ant Queen right there. Well, there's one dead. Where's the other one? I don't know. Actually, I think they both died. Huh. Didn't realize I was shooting both of them. Well, alright. No, there's another gun back here, but I guess it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, where's the other two? There's There were only two queens in that mission. Okay, so let's go multiplayer. Uh, let's see, so we want to create a room, and the only thing we got to do is turn off chat. I really wish we would remember these settings. Okay, so we want to do... Select mission. Select mission. Crimson, probably? I mean, uh, Pyro, if you're joining me. Oh, I see, where's Bird and Keith? Oh, um, Bird is currently eating food. Uh, so he will be here hopefully soon. And I'm not entirely sure what Keith is up to. Let's see. But yeah, if any of you guys have EDF and want to join me for this, I don't know how long we're going to be playing it necessarily. But, uh, whoops. But it won't be too long. Okay, so we want to do class equipment. I was going to do wing diver. I don't really have a whole lot of experience with the wing diver, but we do have... We do actually have some stuff. We've got... Oh, it cannot be reloaded during a mission. 30 diffuse plasma balls horizontally. That sounds interesting. Heaven's Gate. I have no idea which one of these I want to use. Heaven's Gate sounds good. I have no idea. Let's try it. I mean, worst comes to worst, I die. Who cares? Oh, jeez, I got 159 HP for this. We might be in uh, serious danger. I'm probably going. I'm probably going to die horribly. Well, well, it'll be life. It'll be. It'll be how. How I don't know. We live. I don't know. 
Oh shoot, I should customize my colors. Does that just fire forever? That is kind of a ridiculous gun. Both of these are actually pretty ridiculous. Like, I don't think this is actually a good gun. Maybe. I can't tell. I can't tell if this is good or not. I mean, it seems like I'm actually killing ants here. This might be one of my... Okay, we should probably leave. Like, now. Holy shit. I have no I have no jetpack because I'm out of juice! Oh, I'm dead. I forgot. Well, it's reloading. I'm boned. I can't fly. Alright, well... <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when I only have 159 HP. Well, let's see where I land. Yeah, that plasma launcher. That plasma launcher is great. Holy shit, they have, like, bullet tits. I didn't really realize that until now. Yeah, what's with the dumb wheel? Like, it's high heel wheel things? Is there even, like, a... Is there even, like, a... What am I thinking? Like, an ability to, like, roll around? Because if I could actually, like, roller skate around at high speeds, it would be great. But I actually don't know if that's a... I don't actually know if that's, like, a, a an available feature in this game. Wait, there is? How, how do you, uh, how do you roll around? Because if I could, like, actually roller skate, I'd be super happy. There's a bunch of these. Did we just not kill them all? You move around on them. Not really. You kind of just totter. Like, it's... I, I feel like the, uh... Wing Diver horizontal walking... Yeah, you walk on the ground. Like, we just... Oh, yeah, we do have laser ponytails. That is weird. But, yeah, I don't know. It would be so cool if we could, like, rollerblade. Like, Jet Set Radio... Uh, Earth Defense Force would be an amazing combination. Well, I'll just be here. And next time I'm gonna go stand on a tree, because it looks like... Hey, originally I was planning on escaping to a tree once I... Once I, uh... You know, tested my weapons, and then I turned out to... For I've forgotten. I forgot the most important part. Yeah, I'll see if I rollerblade when I'm not out of energy, but I think... I think I'm just... going to totter around on wheels for some mysterious reason. Where are my hands? You know, it kind of looks like we're just face bombing here. Wait, do we have, like, Yuna hair? Or... What is our hair doing? What kind of... Wacky ass hairdo is this? It's a weird hairdo. Cause it like specifically is like swept away from the neck. That's odd. I don't get it. I really don't. Unfortunately, this is a bit of a slow grind mission. Because we have to wait for Pyro to kill everything, and every enemy, I believe, has like a 1.7 HP multiplier, or something kind of silly like that. Or is it a, uh... No, 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 no. No, it's actually... It's better if you've got two people. Like, weirdly enough, if you're playing solo online, this game's actually really hard. Pyro, pick me up. Pyro, come help. 
Or not, maybe this is a bad time. We will wait. I will wait, I will wait patiently. Staring at this kind of wildly unreasonable outfit. I would totally watch an EDF anime, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, an EDF anime would be magic. Probably terrible, but like, still magic. Especially if they did it like, super, like, weirdly j jingoistic and ridiculous. Maybe every single episode is a different character because everyone dies. I think that would be... I think that would be pretty awesome. I don't know. Is it that every single time Pyro shoots, is it like a starburst oh, of lasers? I have my microphone unmuted. Hi. Gazone tight! Thanks. You done eating? Focus Dogen. Nope. Bunch of shit came up. Haven't even started eating. Don't have any food. Ordered takeout. It'll be here. Soon. How soon? Gonna dude? play video games. Should have eat. It's fine. I'm currently watching Pyro. Well, actually, I'd say I'm watching Pyro kill ants for me because I tried to play Wing Diver and then I got wrecked. But really, I'm just watching. Ants kill Pyro. Wing Diver takes a bit of practice. Well, Pyro is standing on top of a tree and the ants are just kind of like gathered around him dying. Turns yeah. out Wing Divers are bullshit. Well, what is he doing? That Standing I'm on top doing? of a tree, just murdering them. They're releasing oh. the Dark Souls soundtrack as a trilogy of vinyl records. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Uh. Uh. There's something endlessly and inherently funny about the idea of video game soundtracks on vinyl. Yeah. I guess. I. It just. Uh, hipster. And someone. And someone already drew a parody of Dream Daddy where they're all cats. Yeah. Dream Kitty. So, I, I missed I the that. boat on that one. Why is everyone pissed off about Dream Daddy? Uh, because one of the, uh, the vampire dad is actually a trans woman to man. And so somebody no, did no. a... I knew about that one. I, I don't I, even know about Weirdly that. enough, I know well, about no. that, like, smaller niche drama. But I'm, well, I mean, like, why were people pissed off before that? Oh, I, never knew I thought that was mad about it. I, I thought oh. that that was it, actually. That that's what everybody's been yelling oh. at because somebody did like a uh, fan art of them gender bended, and everybody's like, "You can't do that. She's a trans." And it's like, what? I didn't know anyone was mad about Dream Daddy. Uh, uh, I've only heard of people being mad about Dream Daddy, which is hilarious because, like. The most inoffensive game. <laughs> yeah, it's like super charming. Yeah. It's basically just a joke idea from Game Grumps. Yeah. Oh, God, their office tour is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go. I'll, I'll, I will be ready, ready in like a minute or two. Yeah, Bert, have you seen the uh, Game Grumps office tour? That episode went up like a four or five days ago, right? No, I didn't so, watch yeah. it because I was like, that seems like the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard of, and then I didn't Their watch it. Their office is ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's some hot bullshit how much work went into their office like now. Gary. Well, I mean, it's the that's small probably what company you, basically probably just where went you like just 20, work. 25 people. I imagine you know? it's what Amazon looks like. <laughs> um, Amazon... Uh, it's fairly trendy for an office, I'll tell you that much, I guess. I w I my building sucks. <laughs> I, well, I my old well building was amazing, but, like, my current building sucks. My old building had a golf course in it. My new building doesn't have shit. I toured the Google offices, and it felt like I was walking through Ikea. Yeah. yeah. That's it. The wall decorations what? are a little hokey in a lot of these I actually places. Know somebody, and, uh, a friend of mine, Max, that I mentioned occasionally, actually works at the Google offices in, Cal in California now. I have a friend who works for the Google office up in um, something. It starts with an R. It's nearby here. Everyone I know uh, works tech jobs I can't explain to my parents. <laughs> <laughs> 
oh, what's your friend M Michael up to? And he's like, well, he's currently working on the Quantum Duo for Obligia later. So we had to get in contact with the CIA. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, I, I, ma and I make video game videos for the internet that are free but make me money. And... <laughs> <laughs> I found out recently uh, that my CA, that when I get my top secret clearance, my CAA bonus is going to be worth twice as much as what I thought it would be. <laughs> Which is really great news, but it also is coupled with the fact that, like, apparently we today, we're by the way? stepping up. EDF. Yeah. Okey apparently the company is stepping up its, like, CIA contract, like, workload substantially now. So basically, like, that will become my job, will be babysitting, like, shit for the government. The entire CIA. Yeah. No. Not. <laughs> CIA is a no. pretty big operation. <laughs> what? I forget. What company were they parodying in, in GTA 5? Probably the NSA. No, it was like a tech company. Oh. Like, you. You you uh tour the you go into the offices of a tech company. It's all like bean bags and bullshit. Oh, that's and Facebook. Bright colors. I've been stuff. in the oh, is it Facebook? I've been in the Facebook offices. It's just stupid bullshit. It's like bean bag chairs and like and like rituals and toys yeah. and shit. And, like just weird stuff happening. Like we're a tech company, huh? That's that's a lot of trendy tech companies. Well, guess what? That's Game Grumps office, kind of. Yeah. Except uh, honestly, well, they, are, re they are a trendy tech company. Except it made me really genuine, jealous. Ridiculous okay. interests. They have an entire hallway that has backlit amiibo displays. <laughs> I, like, the one the thing fuck? that the one thing that confused me about the Game Grumps office is like it felt like um, it felt like I'm just confused who dust that place. Yeah, well, they have cleaning ladies. They have they've... cleaning crews. They come into their videos every once in a while, and they're really fucking funny. Cause like they just barge in the middle of a recording session, and they're this, they're super nice about it, and they're like, "Oh hey," <laughs> that's only ever happened once, I think. I guess the thing I was just confused about with their uh, I was gonna with say, their I office all the tour, time, and I'm like, I've literally never noticed this happen before. I was just confused. I think it only happened once. Tour, I think about it that yeah. uh, that there was no space for like Danny or Brian there. Huh. Like they had one Maybe laptop between the anymore. two of them. I I don't know. They, it just feels I, like those I'm are just the like Danny office just bums. Doesn't work there. Yeah, he Danny probably just lives in the record game room. grumps and then just leaves. Like he I probably think he, he probably there, does. Whatever. Oh shit! You invited me. When did that yep. happen? Just now. Oh okay, good. I've just meanwhile Brian just, just sits there with a the laptop and does the social media because he's also not doesn't do anything else. I don't think. If, if I ever own an office, it's going to be, like, stupid, trendy bullshit all over the place. Are you kidding me? It's going to be ridiculous. Also, all It'll these different like... people run different... Everyone has different offices and stuff, and then, like, the people working on Dream Dead are three people sitting at a, ch at a random table <laughs> in the middle of a room. Now, my, our, my office is going to be, like, uh... It's going to be Bruce Lee-themed, so it's, you're going to walk in, and it's going to get punched in the face... Right away, but you gotta dodge yeah, it. Yeah, face punch. Or you can get punched in the face, it's fine. Anyway, and Bonus then there'll points. be like, there'll be posters of Bruce Lee, and then the desks will be shaped like Bruce Lee, and then, and then the, the <laughs> desktop backgrounds will be Bruce Lee. Gamify your office energy. Game. Uh, uh. <laughs> I said all your favorite words. <laughs> All your favorite words. I am two thousand. I am still two hundred points below my armor limit. I am oh. forty-five points above it because we played through on a higher difficulty. This game also has Skinner boxes, but it's very easy to understand because it's literally just what guns do you have now? <laughs> Yeah. Which guns is it? Because you can't even call the armor a Skinner box. It's just a linear grind. Yeah. The number literally just getting higher every time you pick up a thing. Yeah. It's like coins in Mario, except it's your health. 
<laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's play the game. Ye. Stop, 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 stop. Don't let them drag you down. <laughs> so what, what food did you order, Brid? What are you eating? I ordered Shizwan something. I don't remember. It's Chinese food. Shizwan? So, Amazon Prime Now restaurant orders um, apparently added a new feature. We can reorder stuff that you like. So, oh. it just I just opened up the website and it was like, you want this shit again? I was like, yes. I was like, good. <laughs> and then I laughed the website. and <laughs> It was the best... It was the best ordering experience of my life because I know I'm gonna like it, and it took one second. <laughs> this is I why like... Jeff Bezos is rich. One of my goals <laughs> is to have an income where I can just have takeout forever. I enjoy cooking. I've gotten Keith, really good at it lately. You're I going suck. to be, you're going to be like a monster humanoid by the time like we finally get to the... see each other face. Takeout and, doesn't face have to, to be again. unhealthy. I mean, it just has to be expensive because it's not the same thing as buying a whole bunch of food and slowly preparing it at, at a reasonable I, I feel like if I Dude. ever live close to you uh, for any reason, our first series is going to be Wanderbot and Shell teach Keith how to adult. No. Uh, <laughs> I don't need to adult. I just need to get morbidly I... rich so I can have a personal chef. You, can, you need to get like morbidly the rich so you can become morbidly <laughs> obese. I get it. I see how it is. <laughs> no, I'm terrified of actually getting fat. Yeah. Yeah? How come? Because your skin doesn't go back. Well, it does. That's the scariest shit. Slowly. It does. The people does. that, like, stretch out You're so fine. far because they get morbidly obese, and then they, like, then they're, like, I now have, like, hey, I'm skinny now, but my front is, like, an accordion. Well, I mean, the main <laughs> trick is you have to you have to lose I mean, that you weight. You get surgery. Yeah, yeah you can't that's get not surgery, great either. Like, yeah, that's not a that's not. An I don't want to hit that kind of want. rock bottom ever. No, <laughs> I've been comfortably riding the borderline of overweight, and that's it. <laughs> let's, let's not fucking over exaggerate what territory I go in here. Like I yeah. like cross the line from normal weight to overweight, which is a surprisingly low bar. <laughs> oh, no, it's pretty easy to go to overweight. I'm yeah, like, yeah, probably it's, super I've easy my been, And I've never been past overweight. There's a whole bunch of other scary colors after that. <laughs> and I don't, and There's I've two! Never been there. Yeah, that's that's too many. They're all scary. Okay. They're so bad I'm for a, you. I think in terms of BMI, I'm probably, I think I'm like a point or two below overweight. Ah. And it's just it's like, if I gain five pounds in there, I'm like, what the yep. fuck? That doesn't make any sense. There's yeah, like oh yeah. literally less pounds than there are points before I'm overweight. I, just, I, I, I also feel to, like I need to BMI commit, is like some sort of alchemy between myself and uh, Andrew. BMI uh, is also like the he's the dangerously least underweight. underweight. Oh yeah, yeah. No, BMI is stupid. It should it should it's used to measure populations, not individuals. Well, yeah. Shell Shell likes to be like, okay, so you need to lose like forty pounds to be in like the healthy range of BMI. I'm like, that makes no sense. <laughs> That's slightly terrifying. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty weird. Yeah, and like and Andrew and I are about the same height. I'm a few inches taller, but I'm twice the weight because he is smoking, <laughs> man. And I'm like, well, How I mean, he smokes. Does that which happen? Is like, he smokes yeah. a lot too. Well, smoking, is, yeah, yeah smoking cuts your appetite. 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 Yeah. Uh, is that some kind of dinosaur? It's actually a genuine like efficiency loss when we're recording. Because it's like, hey, we, we record like an hour of smoke break, and we record another hour of smoke break. I'm like, how, are you, how is there so many smoke breaks in this day? It's actually like alarming how often well, he like Well, I up. mean... And, and it's, a big, it's a big time loss because he specifically doesn't smoke in his house ever. Which is yeah. a good practice, but also means that he doesn't smoke while recording ever. When so like, die like from stop. lung cancer is a man's actual goal, Ooh. he is going to pro uh, progress towards that. 25% hey, of his life is, Anime, is a smoke Keith, break. Keith, look at these things. You see these things? Yeah. What things am I looking at? These things are fucking awesome. Have you ever yeah. seen these things in real life? They're the coolest thing I've ever seen. They are. Like the mega, the they, mega Have frame. you ever destroyed you them You just before? blew one up. <laughs> it's cool more for now. <laughs> you know how much like one of these things costs? They're like millions Lots. of dollars to make. They're oh, so yeah. awesome. They use them... Uh, for people who don't know, those like big crane things that Wanderer is going to be blowing up, those are used to load uh, super freighters, um, and regular freighters too, I would imagine. But they're used what to load crane like, things? yeah, they basically like you put like two trillion dollars oh, worth shit, of goods underneath them, and then they put them on a boat. And um, 
What was really funny is uh, somebody explained to me how those get shipped across the world. Because they basically get made in one spot in China. Uh, they put them, they, they load them up onto a super freighter. And then, like, ship them across the world and then take them off the super freighter so they can load super freighters. Super freight. Super freight. The super freight, eh? Anyway, they're awesome, and Wander just blew up, like, Every millions of, of dollars worth of shit. Every <laughs> single one of them. It's one of those bizarre... But th th at the same time, I don't think they would just disintegrate like that, because they're, like, <laughs> new, no. basically. No, my it's grenades like the, it's would like probably do of, like, jack shit to them. It's yeah. like when you see a video of, like, a, of a boat transporting boats. Yeah. yeah. No, it's a, it's a those super freighter boats are the best. Super freighter loaders. It's a boat that takes boats to other places like Remind they can go be boats. <laughs> Remind me when EDF5 comes out so I can name myself Captain Collateral Damage instead of Captain Anime. Captain Collateral. <laughs> That's a good one.